You're watching Newsline. Local people, local news. <laughs> That's what shocks me. How you ever got in the country? After 35 years, Australian news sources claim one of the country's most wanted fugitives is alive and well in Idaho Falls. Local News 8 broke the story first, not only in Idaho, but also in the United States. After finding out where the man is living, we went around asking people if they really knew who their neighbor is. Oh, well, yeah, it is a little shocking. Uh, anytime there's somebody that's most wanted, you don't expect to be living in your neighborhood. So it shocks me to know that he's living very close to me. Good evening, everyone. Who is this man living in Idaho Falls, accused of laundering money and being connected to his former business partner's death? His name is Michael Hand, but now he goes by Michael John Fuller. You're probably wondering, how did he flee a country, hide out, and never get caught? Tonight, only on Local News 8, we have that answer. After some digging, I found there's much more to the mystery than what ran on Australia's version of 60 Minutes. The story, made into a book, centers around the corporate scandal at one of Australia's most notorious banks. Its protagonist, a fugitive that has been living under a false identity in Idaho Falls for decades. It's a crime story you would expect to see in the movies or read in a James Patterson book, and the story is making headlines around the world.